How was your day? Yeah, that was alright. Well, did you do anything interesting? It was a good day. Hello? Hey, welcome to the podcast. I'm Tanner. This is my lovely, beautiful, amazing, genius wife, Mary <laughs> Treffitt. And we're here to help you in your marriage today. Uh, we're talking hey. about Dr. Dr. David Clark's book, Honey, We Need to Talk. That has been made a huge impact on Mary and I's marriage. Um, and so we're going to do a couple of episodes probably here talking about that book. And um, it's a big book on communication. Because we all know if you got bad communication in your marriage... Your marriage has been doing good. And, uh, <laughs> communication is the key to emotional intimacy in your marriage, which is huge in all areas of your marriage. So, um, And so one of the first chapters he opens up with is talking about how usually in the, the average marriage, men are clams and women are crowbars. And so what does that mean, honey? So it basically means that men are not wanting to talk so much, so shut up tight like clams and then... That women are the crowbars trying to pry out information from their closed up clam husbands. This is what's typical. Yeah. Not every marriage is like that, but yeah. often. And, and so like what we acted out in the beginning, usually, you know, the husband comes home from work and the wife is like d dying to like know how he's doing, connect and, you know, hear all the juicy details. And the husband's just like. I'm good. I'm good. You know, kind of how I know a lot of parents complain about their teenagers coming home from school. You know, how was yeah. school? Good. Go Fine. to the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, and that really is not good for your marriage, you know, for, for there to be a really thriving marriage where you're connected emotionally, you got to share, you know, the fears, the joys, the pains, um, and all that. So uh, in our marriage, who's the clam, honey? Who's the crowbar? I don't really feel like there is a clam in our marriage. Personally. No clams, we're just a bunch of I crowbars. think if we had to, no, I don't know that we're either. I feel like we're not necessarily yeah. a clam and crowbar. I feel like you do want to share. I just share more often than you do. And I think, well, I guess actually this is true because you do. I, I have to like ask the right question to get you to share sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, but, but I do feel like you want to share. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no, yeah, I, we find out that often when when we're reading these marriage books, we don't fit the average mold of That's the true. marriage. Um, that I, I don't know, I'm more willing to talk about my feelings <laughs> <laughs> than the average man, um, and uh, so that that's definitely different. And then uh, marriage can be more logical and reasonable than uh, sometimes we feel like some females are at times, um, and so that's a blessing I feel like to our our marriage. Um, and but I would say yeah, like um, when it comes to, um, I don't know, sometimes I. Sometimes I feel like I can be more clam, but I feel like when you're more the clam is when we get into arguments. Uh, oh, yeah, when we get funny. into a fight, she clams up and she goes into, I'm Miss Independent. I don't need anyone. I don't need you, husband, in my life. I'm happy over here and I'm not talking to you. Um, and I'm like getting my crowbar and like, talk to me. What What did I did that, you know, that hurt you? I don't want to have this. I call it the wall. You know, no, like, I was thinking about that. Like we'll be laying in bed yeah, at night and you're and like, tear down the wall, honey. Tear like, down the wall. Let me like, let me in and you're like we're right next to each other we're fine and i'm like no there's a huge barrier <laughs> between our emotional life um and, and you know and because it's funny with my wife either like i am like the best man in the world like i have just descended from heaven because an angel from above or i'm like dead to her it's like, <laughs> there's, like no, to there's like no in between <laughs> and the the the, the 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 words that every man hates is when you ask honey how we're doing fine <laughs> she is not fine we are not fine but she says we are fine so. i just think the definition of fine is different than, yeah. than what you think so. yeah so the, the the helpful marriage tip is really first you have to realize that often in the marriage there's one who's trying to drive and open up the conversation and there's one that's a clam and and not willing to open up and how that is uh, negative. That's not a good thing. And for it to either really feel like a crowbar, no one wants to just be yeah. like nagging, like, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. And no one, and the other person, you know, isn't, it's not good to be a clam. Like you got to right. be able to um, feel safe and feel yeah. cared enough in your marriage to feel like this is a good place to open up and be honest and be intimate. So. Yeah. And I think what's helpful, like you said, talk about it as a married couple, figure out, not only just in general, but like like we said with 
fighting times, it's usually the opposite that I'm more like, I'm not going to share and, and you take on the crowbar tendencies. And, uh, just because we have maybe some different shades of you being more in tune with emotions and maybe me sometimes being more like, no, these are the steps that we must follow. And, uh, that doesn't mean that's always the way it mm -hmm. is for us. And so I think that's a really helpful thing is just to kind of assess where are you in your communication? Uh, who is the clam? Who is the crowbar? Or are you not, you know, mm -hmm. and, and really be honest with each other and, and start there. And then something we found really useful is he talks about having talk times mm -hmm. so that somebody who is not usually as open to sharing is kind of forced to give a little more communication. So what does that look like? Yeah. The, the couple talk times are really helpful. Um, it's it's a lot of times our conversations can be really superficial and i think this is in chapter two he gets into this uh, that um it's really helpful for when someone shares that you um hear what they're saying and you even like can take notes on it and he recommends for the for the guys for the ladies to know that the husband doesn't need to respond right away he can just reflect back like okay i, I heard this is what you talked about you know you really really like you know the show you watched and whatever mm -hmm. And for you to, and he encourage you to write it down on like a pad or something or take notes on your phone and then go away and think about it for a day or, or so. And then, um, but that the man, he recommends scheduling a follow-up time that you're going to have this conversation again and then talk about the same subject again to get deeper into the topic and, and connect in a deeper emotional way to not just hit on all these topics superficially, but to be like, okay, why do you like this topic? And, and you don't have to exactly stay on that topic and then a conversation, but you bring it up again and it might lead you to somewhere else or, or after you reflect on it, Hey, when you talked about this movie and how much you liked it and maybe think about, you know, this movie I used to watch as a child and how much I really liked, you know, this and the bonding I had with my family. And it just helps you dive deeper into topics. And you do that, I think three times, um, yep. on the same topic. And, and you do that a couple of times and it helps build a relationship where you dive deeper. And I think you made a really good point. It's just a lot of times we can get stuck in superficial communication where we're talking, but we're only talking about the same thing over and over again as far as like, hey, the kids today, how did mm. this go? Or, oh, how was church this week? Or, you know, we stay kind of here. But the talk times, I think, really create a way, like you said, to get deeper, but then also to make sure you're moving on to new subjects. Because mm -hmm. if you're just talking about the same thing over and over and over again, and just kind of rehashing, like <laughs> Johnny plays soccer, the soccer team, and mm -hmm. you just like keep bringing up the soccer team and who's taking him here and who's taking him there. And then this is how this went. Uh, anyway, long story short, I'm just trying to say that it can help you not only explore new topics, but you can just connect in a more meaningful way. Uh, and as we get busy in marriages, mm -hmm we lose that connection and it's so easy to have that happen. But that is one quick step mm. to start establishing communication with each other. And it might feel a little weird at first, but then for us, at least we started doing this, but then we found as we got more comfortable, we didn't really need that anymore the, because the structure of it. Yeah. 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 Because we were able to be adjusted to having these like longer conversations. Mm -hmm. And so now <laughs> sometimes I feel like we're talking and I blink and it's been an hour, you know, uh, you're probably like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I really, we do. Uh, so yeah. Like, so for the family, you know, that this is like us, we have four kids and you know, life is crazy. And you know, from the moment we get home, it's not like we're having all these intimate conversations. It's more right. like, once we get to the bed, the kids to bed, eight, eight thirty or whatever, we have like an hour or two of either individual time where we're like, Hey, do you want to talk right now? And we have like maybe hour or sometimes two hours long of just connecting and, and talking and talking about our day and talking about our kids and what we have been learning and all types of stuff. And so just you just have to find that time to, to, to connect. And sometimes it does feel like we've noticed we feel like we're in kind of a rut where mm -hmm. we want to kind of explore something new together. Mm -hmm. And so we'll get a book on a different subject or something and just start reading it. And a lot of times that will open up spark. so many new conversations. Yes. So. Yeah. And um, just create a new place for connection. Because if you do have young children in the home, you may not be able to get out and try new things together mm -hmm. that same way. So that's been really helpful. For us. Yeah. So I hope this uh, conversation helps you and that you dive in and communicate this week. God bless you guys. Thanks so much for listening.